Hey everybody, Chad here with Patriot Astro, and I'm about to pull some material together for some other videos. And I went and updated Nina, and I have to show you a couple things. There's so much happening from a development perspective, especially as it comes to plugins. There's a couple really exciting things going on. So let me just jump in and show you this stuff really fast, and I'll do some detailed videos on a couple of them later. All right, so here I am in Nina, and a couple really cool things going on from a plugin perspective is that you can see there's a number of plugins available now. A couple new ones I wanna point out, um, and a couple updates as well. So the three-point polar alignment has had a couple updates. If you haven't updated that in a while, please do so. Um, it just continues to get better. Here's a new one here scope 3d view uh, some of you may have seen this in the past but this basically is a port from the gs point 3d stuff that's out there and it's going to give you a 3d view of your telescope so if you install this plugin and come back to the imaging page here what you're going to have is you've got this 3d option up top and when it's enabled it's a tab that you can drag around so as i manipulate my telescope we'll be able to see movement let's just go take a quick look at that right now So we can see it looks a little bit different now that I've connected my telescope to Nina. And here in EQ Mod, let me just slew around a little. And there is an update interval, but I mean, look at this. I mean, we can see the movements as it's occurring. So not that this is the most important thing in the world, but it can be pretty handy if you're monitoring a meridian flip or you're just trying to understand where your scope is and what side of the pier you're on. So just kind of a heads up on that one. So I'm not gonna go into all these details on a lot of other ones right now, but just kind of pay attention to this as you're thinking about moving to Nina 111 or if you're in Nina 111, pay attention to the plugins. There are plugins here that will auto connect your equipment as an instruction. So if you've got some equipment that you leave out overnight or you've got yourself a dome or something like that, you can actually have the system cut on your uh, equipment. So there's a lot of really interesting things happening here, right? So if you're not paying attention to this, go look at my plugin series of videos. Um, I'm gonna add to that. There's a number I'm gonna get to. Uh, synchronized dithering is back via plugin. I'm gonna do a video on that hopefully soon. We're gonna go into Dark's Custom soon. Uh, he did an update to his offset calculator uh, that makes it even better because it's actually taking into account a couple different things, including dealing with temperature fluctuations a little bit better as well. Ground Station has had some add-ons. If you haven't looked at Light Bucket, it's something you need to do. So again, I wanna keep this short, but pay attention to plugins, pay attention to Nina 111. If you're not on board with Nina 111 yet, uh, it's something you definitely want to start considering. The features are coming fast and furious. Hopefully this helped. As always, like, subscribe, and share with others. Clear skies.